Royce Gracie. Transitions and scrambles on the ground. High level grappling could really be entertaining. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know when, when to hold him. him. Yep, absolutely. Go. All right, well, he's got him softened up here. Hands up. Hands up. Don't let him get around your neck. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground tonight. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. Trying to isolate an arm, DC. He needs to move his hips back to cover. He cannot allow him on that angle. Oh, he postured up there, and he's out. Take. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. from top position here by Grace. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. All right, 45 seconds now to go in the round. Now the guy's got on bar. He's attacking it on him. Okay. Now we can escape. Let's go. We 
Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. All right, he's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. Pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Horn sounds for the end of round one. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. All right, listen, you did good that round, but I need you to do a little bit better. Next round is underway here, and if you can't stay Ready? calm when a fighter Ready? is attempting a submission on you, you're gonna get finished. I mean, stay calm. You're done now. What are you trying to do if you're in top position? Oh, man, you're attacking those feet right away because you understand that the guy with the feet on the hips, all he has to do is just extend his leg. Right. He's a grown man that's pushing you off. That is as big a strike as he has landed thus far tonight. Big, massive shot lands. Look at how tough his opponent is, though. Still standing, still in their fight. He loaded up with his right hand, too. Been busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Look at the turtle in that kick. Nice kick. Double leg takedown attempt here, and that one is true. Nice job there to enter and ultimately plant his opponent on the mat. Now what does he do? That he's got his best shot off, finished the attack. Where does he go now from the top position? Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motion on the mat. He jumps on a headlock. We call this in wrestling just a headlock. And if you're not careful, you can get stuck in an arm triangle. And he's out. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Oh, so an interesting decision there is he decides to stand up and relinquish the dominant position. Some fighters don't check a lot of leg kicks. That one was checked. Look at him with his hip to that kick. Oh, the difference in the strike is crazy. Both fighters throwing heat now. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his... Oh, man, look at that. Victor perfect. Got to the leg, got to his position, got another beautiful takedown. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here. Just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying. Gracie's trying for a submission here. with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter and he's very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. Oh, nice land there with the punch. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Wow, massive uppercut. He lands another one. He's keeping the stat guys busy tonight. I mean, over and over, takedown attempt after takedown attempt, and the cardio. The cardio to wrestle that much is so impressive because his opponent is getting back to his feet, but he's got this ability to continue to chase takedowns. Gracie gets back up again. Nicely done. Oh, nice. Back to the well with that right hand. It's no good. Oh, big elbow. And he connects with the punch. The cardio you must have in order to secure this mini take. And he's able to work his way back to his feet. Right to the target. Let's see if his opponent can survive. I cannot believe he is still standing after taking that punch. Gracie gets 
gets hit with a kick. Oh, so an inch great timing from that move. So inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Well, you know, I don't like the gi very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can he's gonna attack the triangle choke here. here off of his back by Grayson. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. Well, not ideal to spend this much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his activity. Landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by Grayson. All right, so a big knockdown for him, courtesy of that punch in that round. DC, here's a replay. Big moment in the previous round. They were both fighting very well. But when he landed this punch right here that sits his opponent down, it showed that the power is not equal. And if he can land, he does have the ability to damage it. one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. We now go inside the octagon where Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at nine seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout, Anthony Joshua. Well, we